From Terre Haute, Indiana, the Holman Civic University Center. Hello again, everyone. This is Joe McConnell with Indiana State University Basketball. Tonight, Indiana State will open up against Lawrence University. The Vikings... The way we worked, I think, the way we jailed, I think we... It was just a sense to me of, of destiny, okay? Um, I remember the uh, first game, uh, you know, coaches put up the assignments, you know, who's guarding who, who's guarding what. And uh, I took the chalk uh, and I put in the corner one and oh. And uh, so I continued to do that the whole season until we got to the national. And so I put national champs, and, uh, but that didn't happen. Um, I just think that uh, we, uh, I remember one time, I think Coach Hodges had got uh, stuck in Indianapolis in a snowstorm on I-70 and the roads were closed. And uh, we were getting ready. We was all out there playing the horse and we uh, around. We just came to the middle of the floor, all of it, and said, let's go to work. And um, we just started doing it on our own. And so about an hour later, uh, Coach Hodges came in and had snow all over him. He just sat in the other coach, sat uh, on the side, and just was at all that we just went to work. I really didn't think it would change college you know, basketball. I knew you had, you had, uh, you know, the Michigan State, and then you had DePaul, you had Penn, and you had us in the Final Four. So we, we met, I mean, it, it, it has changed college basketball. And, and uh, um, once in a while. Now another substitute comes in. Number 32, as we told you, Eric Curry. I'm remarried. I've got two kids. I got a wife, uh, Fatima. Uh, I got two older kids, uh, Amanda, who was born in Terre Haute, and uh, she. And then I got another son. They're grown. I got remarried, and uh, got a boy, uh, Devin, and uh, Deviana. My son is six foot four. Uh, he's not his dad, okay? Because maybe I'm living vicariously through him. But he, uh, the other night, he, he had 21 nine rebounds. And, uh, you know, it's hard to sit. You know, I, I've, you know, I try to, you know, give him pointers of the game, you know, to play it with passion. You know, rebound. You know, I, I, I put, you know, I want to put this, you know, you play defense. Defense wins championships. So uh, I, I, I uh, still work with kids. I'm a supervisor. Uh, in the city of Chicago, a place called Lawrence Hall, and uh, we uh, been doing that ever since I left Indiana State. You know, working with kids. You know, and it started at Indiana State. It started at a Special Olympic event for the, everybody, the team, and I've just been doing it ever since. We were young. We believed in each other. Uh, we believed in the coaches. Uh, like I said, I, I uh, male. Uh, I never, you know, he used to play us, you know, each one of us like one on one. And uh, he, uh, it was a special guy. He was a special coach. Hodges, Coach King, uh, Stan, Evans. Um, but, but, you know, missing, missing, like I said, growing up in the city of Chicago without a father and looking for a mentor. And he just really, really um, was, uh, was my friend. He was like a father. And he told me when I was right, told me when I was wrong. We talked all the time. I would call him and just talk to him. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to wear cowboy boots and honor him to one of these events. And uh, uh, he's truly missing my heart. 